I think jurisdiction should consider curtailing the availability of candy and fruit flavors. Um, and overall, you know, we should be doing the kind of public health research that we need to do to understand what types of products are most appealing to youth so that we can provide that information to policymakers for co these continued discussions. I think one thing that's a challenge with the emerging cannabis industry is that it's rapidly evolving. Um, so we're reacting to the products that are in the market and trying to do research on what types of products are most popular among both youth and adults. A flavor ban that you would see in tobacco isn't really something that is a policy option for us since the cannabis plant itself has flavor. The pineapple flavored vape would be allowed in New York State if and only if it is from a naturally occurring source. So it could be a pineapple flavored vape, that's pineapple kush strain, that's perfectly possible and plausible in, in the regulated market here. You know, we, we can regulate until we're blue in the face, but the, the truth is it's a, it's a partnership between a compliant industry, strong regulations that are robust in their protection for youth, and then really with parents too, because once you bring the product home, it becomes a, a, an important discussion of making sure that those products are stored, locked up, out of reach, and out of sight of young people. Look at that tax.